this is a screening test diagram and we can see that we have all the healthy people under the blue line and all the diseased people under the red line and we have a cutoff value or cutoff point here which is the dashed blue line in the center and everything to the right of it is uh, positive test results and everything to the left of it is obviously negative test results now the red line represents all the diseased people they could either be people who are correctly identified as diseased meaning their test results came out to be positive so they were uh, correctly classified so they, they are true positives or they could be false negatives where they're actually diseased but their test result came out to be negative and we can see over here everything since everything to the right of this blue dashed line is positive that means all these people on the right side under this red curve these are all true positives and this little triangle over here on the left of this dashed blue line well those are the false negatives because they're diseased but their test result obviously was negative because it's on the left of this dashed blue line and for the healthy people over here is the opposite everybody to the left of this dashed blue line and under this blue line these are all the true negatives because they're healthy and their test result came out to be negative and this little triangle over here this is these are the false positives they actually got a positive test result because you can see that they're on the right of the dashed blue line but they're since they're under the actual this one blue line they're actually healthy people so they're incorrectly classified so these are the false positives now the question is the health ministry wants to change the screening test cutoff point to the brown line which is right here this thick brown line what will happen to the number of false positives well first we just have to locate the false positives and see what happens to them as we just mentioned the false positives here were this little triangle over here on the right of this cutoff line these are the false positives well now with a cutoff point to the left all the way over here we can see the false positives have increased because now these are the people still under the blue line this blue line so they're still healthy but they're to the right of the cutoff line meaning their test result is positive so these are the false positives right so we can see that the false positives have increased from this small little triangle to this huge little tri this huge triangle so the false positives have we can say increased What will happen to the positive predictive value? Well, let's see what is positive predictive value. You know, positive predictive value is you took you take all the people with the positive test result and you see how many of them actually are truly positive. So you see the all the true positives over all the people with the positive test results who could either be true positives or false positives. And we see what happens. Well, in th this case, it's actually quite simple. All you have to think, all you have to see is uh where are my true positives and where are my tr and where are my false positives well the true positives are originally there since they were to the right of this uh, dashed blue line but under the red line there were all of these you know this huge chunk of people and now my true positives have increased because now with the brown line here i can see that all these are true positives now so my true positives have increased so i would say that they have increased and so also in the denominator my true positives have increased but what happens to the false positives well since the false positive originally on the right of this dashed blue line right over here well they have uh, since they were this much this small little triangle now with this brown line over here you can see these false positives have actually increased as well and quite dramatically actually so my false positives have also increased so what does that mean so I mean what does that tell me like my true positives then increased and my false positives then increased basically there's increase all across the board in this equation well uh, you might so you might think oh everything increases but actually you got to remember that this is a fraction and the way that I think about it is that since he on in the numerator I have a true positives and in the denom denominator I also have true positives and since both of them even after the increase they will be the same number obviously because they're both just the true positives so I can say that their increases pretty much cancels them out so that's the way I like to think about it I just cancel out their increases and I just look at the false positives now that means that overall my, my fraction overall is having a net increase in the de denominator so basically I have a fraction where the denominator is actually increasing which is represented by the increase in false positives and anytime your denominator increases your overall um, fraction decreases
as it's basically like let's say if um, my fraction was 1 over 2 so the denominator is 2 and now my fraction is 1 over 4 and so basically the den denominator has increased to 4 from 2 to 4 and um, which one is the which one is the what happened to the percentage well we went from 50 percent to 25 percent so overall the percentage actually decreased what will happen to the negative predictive value let's see what is a negative predictive value you have all the people with the negative test results and you want to see how many of them are actually truly negative so you want to see who are true negatives over true negative plus false negatives and we can see originally in this cutoff line the true negatives were all of these people this huge chunk of people over here and now with this cutoff line here we can see that the true negatives have actually decreased right so our true negatives I would say have decreased and we can say over here as well in the denominator as well so the true negatives have decreased and what happens to the false negative well here in the original cutoff line the false negatives were this small little square here uh, this small little triangle over here to the left of this blue dashed cutoff line and now with this brown line over here we can see that the false negative which was this much has now decreased to just barely visible right over here this much so our false negatives have also decreased and same concept as the previous one so uh, I just like to think like okay there the neg the, um, the decrease of net of the true negatives cancels out and I just like to think that means that the overall my denominator is decreasing so that means that since I have m getting a denominator that's becoming smaller that means overall my fraction is uh, the percentage is actually increasing so the negative predictive value will increase and also makes sense um, since the positive predictive value is uh, decreasing the negative predictive value is increasing because you are moving that cutoff uh, line in this graph example uh, at least okay what will happen to the sensitivity well what is sensitivity sensitivity is you took all you want to see sensitivity is all the diseased people the truly diseased people which is the true positives over all the people who are actually diseased who, who could either be true positives or um, or um, uh, false pos false negatives these were the people so the percentage of the people who were actually tr correctly classified as true positive over all the people who were actually have the disease so let's see what has happened to the true positives and the false negatives originally with this cutoff line over here we could see that we can see that the true positives are to the right of it or this here this large you know people over here under the red line and to the right of the b dashed blue line, mm -hmm. these are the true positives. And now with the brown line over here, we can see that the true positives have increased because now it's going to be all of these people. So the true positives have my true positives have increased, you know, as well in as in the denom denominator. And what happens to the false negatives? Well, now since the uh, originally the false negatives were this triangle over here to the left of the um, dashed blue line, and now we can see that the that that triangle has decreased to just about this much barely visible so this has the false negatives have actually decreased again similar concept this uh, the way that I like to think about it is uh, the true positives and the true positives which are increasing in both denominator and numerator their increases I just cancel them out and I just think about it okay the false negatives have still decreased so overall my denominator has decreased since my denominator is becoming smaller that means overall my entire fraction or percentage is actually getting bigger so my sensitivity should have an overall increase you can also see since sensitivity is you're just looking at the people who have the disease so you're only looking at the red line so let's say you you ignore the blue line and everything else and you just think about this red line and then you look at the brown line well I can that means that I can move the cutoff value um, let's let's say this this brown line here the cutoff line uh, I could f freely move it then that would mean that if I move the brown brown line let's say over here or here or here or something I would be um, manipulating the true positives and the false negatives right because those are the two uh, values that come under the red line or under the diseased people so all I'm trying to say is that if if you move this brown line let's say all the way to all the way here all the way here at the end over here so if the cutoff line was over here that would be mean that everybody that from the from my diseased people 
were actually detected as positive so these would be the true positive that means that, that I would have on pretty much everybody uh, being, being detected as true positives from all the diseased people so my sensitivity would actually be a hundred percent whereas if this brown line or cutoff line was over here on this side of the graph then I would uh, notice that everybody since everybody's to the left of it from all the diseased people that would mean that these are all my false negatives and I have zero uh, true positives that would mean that my sensitivity in this case would be zero percent therefore my if I want a 50% sensitivity that would have to be right through this red line straight in the center through this red line right over here because in this case I have half of the people who are correctly identified as true positives and the other half correctly uh, and the correct and the other half incorrectly identified as being negative so meaning that they are false negative so again that just means that if I put this cutoff line on this side of the graph over here my uh, sensitivity is 100% because everybody to the right of it is true positive. And if I put it over here, that means that my sensitivity is 0% and everything because everybody to the left of it is false negative. And if you put it through the center, then you have a 50% sens sensitivity. With specificity, which we're looking where we're looking at the people who are healthy, we're seeing how many pe people are true negative from all the people who are uh, healthy. Um, if you put the cutoff a line is straight in the center that would of this blue line that would mean that the specificity is uh, fifty percent and if I put the blue uh, if I put the cutoff line over here everybody is um, and you can see that everybody to the right of the cutoff line is actually has a positive test result that means they're incorrectly identified so these are all my false positives that means I have everybody being identified as a false positive so therefore my specificity in this case would be uh, zero percent because I have no true negatives whereas if I have the cutoff line over here everybody to the left of it would be all the true negatives so it ev means everybody who's healthy is being identified as a true negative and there is no part of the blue line on the right of it so in that case if my cutoff line was here that would mean that I would have a hundred percent specificity okay so it's pretty simple if you just think about what each of the terms represent and mean um, what will happen to the accuracy well um, one of the one of the ways that you can think about it is remember how the best accuracy or that you can have for any test is right over here straight th through the center where you have you know every over here where you have the most minimum amount of false negatives and false positives um, so in this case you already have you know maximal accuracy for in in this case in this um, specific graph example ex at least and therefore that would mean that any way that you would move you know this cutoff line you you would actually uh, compromise on that accuracy so your accuracy would decrease no matter what um, but anyway let's say that you didn't know that and you still wanted to calculate it accuracy is basically you're looking at all the people who actually have the true or correct results which is the true positives and the true negatives over all the people who took the test um, which would include the true positives plus the true negatives plus the false positives plus the false negatives and since over here if the original cutoff line over here if we can see over here everybody to the right of it with all these diseased people the true positives well the true positives when I moved the cutoff line here I can see my true positives actually increased okay so on both sides over here they have increased and what has happened to my true negatives well my true negatives originally which were everybody all these people when I put moved it over here my true ne negatives have actually decreased right because originally it was all of these people and now it's just everybody here so my true negatives have decreased and now I just have to look at the false positives and false negatives well false positives originally since the cutoff line was here I can see this this little square was this little triangle was my false positives and now with the cutoff line over here that means my false positives have actually increased to all of these people so my false positives have actually increased whereas if I look at my uh, false negatives this is the cutoff line originally originally was here this was my false negative this small little triangle here now with the move over here my false negative have has actually decreased so what does that tell me false negatives have decreased now again I can apply that same thing where since the true positives and true negatives are on both sides of the equation I can disregard their increases and decreases.
and all that tells me then is that I have to look at the false positives and the false negatives now you might think okay well the denominator is increasing and decreasing so does that um, does that mean that there is no net increase or decrease in the denominator so therefore um, meaning that your accuracy stays the same well actually no because what this means that now you have to look at the false positives and false negatives and see well is there a for example like did my did my false positive increase much more than my false negative decreased or vice versa because then that would change my denominator uh, value so if I look over here and uh, I just focus on the false positives and the false negatives in the original dashed cutoff line my false positives and false negatives were, re were really small right each one of them is just about this much now with the cutoff value over here I can see my false positives have increased like crazy false positives have increased like crazy right and my false negatives have become this small little thing so my false negative which if you look at this red triangle here my false negative went from something that was that was this whole triangle to just this little bit so I lost this much um, whereas my false positives went from something which was this small triangle over here to this huge triangle over here so that tells me that my false positives have actually increased much more than my false negatives have decreased so I would say my false positive have increased like crazy compared to the uh, decrease in false negatives so overall I would say that my denominator is actually increasing in size since my denominator is increasing in size that means overall my fraction is uh, decreasing in this percentage so I would say that my accuracy has actually decreased okay uh, next question is pretty straightforward if you just think about it assuming that everybody with positive test results is referred for medical follow-up what will happen to the number of people referred for follow-up well who are, would you refer to follow-up you would refer to people that you actually die uh, detect as being positive in other words the true positives because those are the people who from the screening test you found out they're actually positive and then you confirmed it and, uh, with the subsequent tests and stuff and you found out yep they are really really positive so those are the tr actual true positives so those are the ones that are you will follow up all the time right so we just want to know or this question just wants to know that uh, what will happen to these amount these um, you know true positive people so again since the cutoff point originally was here in this dashed line over here and now it's here we can see with the change in the cutoff point the true positives have increased so since my true positives have increased that means I have more people who are correctly identified and who are uh, and because you know they're correctly identified and when they go on to their subsequent test and whatever you find out that they really have the disease so they really follow it up and everything so overall it means I'm detecting more people and uh, correctly detecting more people so my uh, my um, the amount of follow-ups I would have would actually increase if, it w if this brown line would have been over here somewhere where my true positives would have decreased I would see the, n uh, um, the opposite effect and therefore m the amount of people following up would actually decrease how would you change the cutoff point to get sensitivity of 50% already covered that uh, for sensitivity I, I look at all the diseased people which are the people in the in the red line and I know that dead right in the center of this um, of this uh, of this line over here that would be 50% sensitivity and 50% specificity would be right over here in the center of this uh, curve so that's pretty straightforward <laughs>